I've been doing some research on the 450L. And I do like the bike, the idea of the bike, but I, I think I definitely want to keep the DRZ just for the simple fact that it's reliable and the maintenance is very low so I can rack up miles and not have to worry about a bunch of stuff like that. I've been thinking about buying a cheap like 250 maybe like a CRF 250X or a WR 250R just something that's a little more trail friendly I don't want a motocross bike for the trails you know that just doesn't work uh, but something a little more trail worthy that I can just beat the piss out of and not worry about you know be able to take that off road and shit kind of save this bike more for just daily riding and uh, daily riding just like playing around on blacktop it would be nice to have some factory street legal but I don't there's not very many good options like WR 250R I test rode one that a guy had and it was used it was rough it was very rough uh, he claims it had a 280 kit in it, had a programmer, FMF exhaust, it just felt doggy, like, just had no power. I don't know why, I, I, I would have figured that it's lighter than the DRZ, and the, the, the 280 kit should make close to the same amount of power that the DRZ makes stock. I don't know, it's just either he was lying out his ass, or... A WR is just really that anemic to me. Um, but yeah, I was going to buy that bike for me to like trail ride on and teach my girlfriend to ride. But that thing is tall and for her to ride it, not practical. So I definitely scratched the WR off my list. And same thing with the CRF or, or CRF 250L. It's just I, I scratching that off my list. I, there's just nothing else really out there to get. Like it's it's horrible. It's, it kind of sucks. You know, there's no really good bike that I could buy that I could have fun trail ride and also let her ride and, and teach her how to ride. You know, I looked at a a 434 kit, cams, big bore. Like all that consideration shit. Like I don't want to go too big on the bore. I don't want to. I don't want to fuck up reliability. And I just want a little bit more punch. But man, I just the DRZ right now. The way I got it jetted. The way I've been riding, just kind of around town and shit. I've been getting like 56 miles to the gallon. I love that. I, I love the good gas mileage. You know, primarily the kind of riding I do. I like to have a good range. And I don't want to change the tank. I like the stock tank. I, I wish I could get. I might look into a plastic one just so I can reduce weight, but I like the small tank. Like I don't like having a big ass fucking tank. It just looks stupid. But I just—is it really worth the money to to make this DRZ make a little bit more power? Like I don't, I don't know. And now I figured like if I kept it long enough for the motor locked up or something, you know, I would definitely go ahead and just put a big bore in it. Like I wouldn't waste my time putting a stock jug back on it piston but I mean when it comes down to that though you're gonna have to do everything else and if you're like, if you're doing a big bore you might as well do everything else you know you might as well have the FCR and you might as well have bigger cams and the head gasket the e-model head gasket so nice out here I'd love to live in this area if uh, there's actually some jobs it's 
problem is <laughs> there's no money in South Dakota. There's no good jobs. So far in this higher elevation, she seems to be running pretty good. So I'm kind of happy with my jetting. You know, if she runs really great over where I live, which is about 4,400, and this is 6,000 something like that and it's running really good here so 